Now let's open that up. I believe we're actually like practically right at the end of um, this now. Wait, wait, where am I going? Not supposed to be going that way. We're practically at the end of chapter three. We have just like two puzzles to go, and uh, those, and then that should be it. So we're heading into the Stella Circus. I haven't been to a circus for ages. Let's go. We didn't come here to clown around, Luke. Ahaha, <laughs> get it? Clown around? <laughs> oh, a tiger. Good work there, Emmy. That's not... Emmy, that's not setting a good example. I'm the lovable street urchin that looks up to you. And, and you know, it's very impressionable. Well, okay. Uh, let us look for hint coins then, I guess. That's the important thing, because I happen to know that the uh, chapter is ending soon, so I kind of want to find these hint coins before. Uh... Oh, dang it! Before finding puzzles, god damn you! I got like two, didn't I? I got two. The illuminations come together to form an elaborate puzzle. What the hell is going on here? The ringmaster's having a word with the man in charge of lighting. An angry word. Hey, what do you call this mess? Put those lights in order on the double. Leave the top left and bottom right ones alone. They're all right. You need to move and rotate the rest. They need to be in order from top left to bottom right. Well, the top left one is one and the bottom right one is eight. So, uh, I'm guessing we're going to pretty much have to... Whoa, oh, okay. Do we have to actually... Like, oh, we have to move them around and stuff. So this has got to say the number two. This is not going to be freaking easy. Uh, how exactly can we make a number two? Oh god, I don't have much space to move things around here. How can I make a number two? That's actually a mighty fine question. Could I do it with yellow? No, I don't think I can. Uh, I could possibly do it with blue? No, I don't think I can do it with blue. As a print, yeah, I definitely can't do it with blue. But I think think... Yeah, I could do uh, three with blue. So let's put three there. And rotate that around. And there we go. There's number three done. I need to find a couple that I can do two with. And that is not easy. Actually, I think that one... Yeah, red. Wait, no, not red. What can I do two with? I can't do it with yellow. Can I? Oh, maybe I can do it with yellow, actually. Uh, let's rotate. No, wait, 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 wait. If I rotate that around. No, okay, it doesn't seem possible to do that with yellow. If only because with yellow you have to actually, you know, do a thing. Okay, yeah, it's possible with red. I'm being dumb. In fact, it's easy with red. <laughs> I'm just being dumb. <laughs> uh, now, what do I want to make four out of? I think I want to make four out of uh, yellow because I've got that. There we go. Five I can also make out of yellow. Uh, six. Maybe blue. I guess that makes sense. We'll rotate, rotate around, rotate around. It's not exactly easy rotating these things around, I'm going to be honest. Seven, there we go. And eight, there we go. We are done. I believe I have this one. Spectacular. An excellent. Basic problem. rearrangement skills. I have them. The show must go on. It isn't ideal, but at least now the stage will be lit in time for the show. In what way is it not ideal? It's perfect, Layton. What the hell are you talking about? You're wrong. That is all I can say with certainty. So there's another hint going there. There is another hint going there. And that's actually three hint coins, isn't it? Which means we've got all of them. Well then. Let's just tap on this guy over here. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, welcome to the Stellar Circus. Hello, Ringmaster. The rabbit you gave us is doing well. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, that creature! I forgot about that. And that's cause business is booming! Mr. Dolson hired us a month ago and we've been sold out every night. Even as we speak, our star performer is out before a packed crowd. 
I really can't thank Mr. Dalton enough for his investment. He even offered us this prime location. Uh, why the hell did you buy a load of costumes? What is wrong with you? Underneath the face paint and the coloured wings, circus performers are real people with real needs. They wanted to enjoy the carnival with the rest of the city, but I didn't want them ruining their work uniforms. Suppose that kind of makes sense? Yeah, yeah, of course. There's nothing suspicious in the slightest about that at all. I also like to think that I'm smart enough to solve puzzles, but I'm stumped by this one. Yet another weird segue into a puzzle. Sure. <laughs> a Winger's Tale. Oh dear god, that's a long, that's a lot of text. Wall of text! Miss A is complaining about the seat she had for last night's play. Can you work out where she was sitting? <sighs> I'm going to put it on the small screen so I can actually see. Actually, no, I'm going to put it on the big screen and then open memo mode so I can see the... There we go. Miss A, okay. The five of us sat in a row with me in the middle. Talk about a fifth wheel. Of course I got stuck behind... Some oaf in a top hat, I could hardly see the stage. There were four seats between me and the aisle to my right. So she could be in that one, that one, that one, that one, uh, that one, that one. That one or that one. Okay, I've narrowed it down to eight seats. <laughs> uh, I need to, okay. Since my view was blocked, I took to looking at my seat number and noticed the seat number and row number were two apart. So, are you saying that you were there? Is that what you're saying to me, woman? Is that what you're saying to me, woman? Because I, I think. Dear God, I just lost it, haven't I? No, I haven't. It is row six, seat four. Six, four. Not six, fourteen. Six, four. Speedrunning tactics, I you don't need to include a zero. This one. It's been a while since I included speedrunning tactics. An excellent puzzle. Amazing. Right at the back. I'm impressed. With wit like yours, you'd make a fine clown. No, I'm not sure whether I take that as an insult or a compliment. I'm very confused. Circus music has a bit of a random tendency to remind me of Dark Chronicle. Oh my god, what an amazing game. I should LP that, but no, I won't. Or perhaps an animal trainer. Speaking of which, you should meet our resident tiger. The ferocious and fearsome Hannibal. Mr. Dawson visits him quite often. His enclosure is right over there if you want to see him. Yeah, we've already seen him. Oh yeah, Luke can talk to animals! I totally forgot about this. Alright, let's talk to Hannibal. <laughs> he's not he, hes not the ferocious and fearsome Hannibal for nothing. Hannibal, how's it going? Hannibal has a puzzle for me? <laughs> he looks so dopey, look at him! He's just so dopey. Just like... Uh, growl. Growl, roar. Oh my, he's certainly talkative. He also has a very nice hat. And ferocious! Let me see if he can understand me. I still think it's a little bit odd you can talk to animals. A little bit? A little bit? Just a little bit, Amy! Just a little bit! I hope he's not too ferocious. Don't worry, just think of him as a giant house cat with bigger teeth. A giant, very dopey looking house cat. That is probably the worst 3D model in the game. <laughs> well here goes nothing! Hello Hannibal! We're here to solve the puzzle of the masked gentleman! Would you? Raw, 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 raw. Oh really? Raw. I see. He says he's got his own puzzle that needs solving. Ha ha! Oh, that's not what I said. Oh, what are these, why are these people turning everything into puzzles? 
And, oh, it's one of those, another one of these. Kitty Solitaire! This is my kind of solitaire. <laughs> this is always my kind of solitaire. Lucky the black cats and the eight white kittens are sitting on a 5x5 five five board. Both Lucky and the kittens can jump over any kitten that's on a horizontal, vertical, or diagonally adjacent square. Jumping over a kitten removes that kitten from the grid. It is basically... Uh, thingy solitaire. Chinese solitaire, isn't it? Something like that. So, yeah, this... Uh, wow. <laughs> Ladder! Oh wait, we can go diagonally as well, so it's not quite, uh thingy. And I'm out of moves. <laughs> okay, well, I don't think this is going to be tremendously difficult in the slightest. Uh, I just kind of have to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this, yo. And to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not be able to do it. That's my strategy here. Yes, kill the black cat now. Oh, so I, I, I legit have to finish in the middle. Okay, this might be fairly tricky, actually. If only because... It's letting us move diagonally, which is very odd for a Chinese check Chinese solitaire um, gimmick. The ability to move diagonally is not usually something that one associates with uh, this particular game. But oh well, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing an absolutely terrible job here, by the way. <laughs> Just so you know. Oh, it gives us a counter for this one. It didn't give us a counter for the sliding puzzle, but it gives us a counter for this one. Even though on this one, you, you literally have to finish in eight moves, or you can't finish at all. But sure, whatever. So what if I do it like that, and then I just have to kind of make one finish there? Would that work? Uh, would I be able to do that? Apparently not. <laughs> Ah, jeez, come on! I'm, I'm not this bad at this particular game. I can usually solve these puzzles. I'm usually okay at these puzzles. I'm not a master or anything, but I'm, I usually hold my own. So I can get rid of all of them quite easily, it's just a matter of finishing in the centre that I'm finding a little bit difficult at the moment for some reason. Possibly related to the puzzle's difficulty? Possibly not, I don't know. Either way, my basic strategy is just to kind of put him off to the corner and then try and finish with one there or something. That just seems to be working, you know, the best so far. I mean, nothing's really working so far, but it's, it's, it seems to be working the best in that uh, it seems to actually be a possibility of something that could possibly help solve the problem. The puzzle itself has uh, rotational symmetry. So, I keep ending up in this freaking situation where I've got like this. Okay, maybe if I try like going off to one of the sides it might help better. But I don't think it is any better actually. Because just looking at it, I, like how the hell would I move that guy? The one that's like wriggling around. Unless I did something like this. But then I don't finish anywhere near the... Uh, I don't know. I think it's time to use Hink Coin since I've been stuck on this for about half an hour now. Uh, you may feel safe to face safer. The first step is to make her jump four times in a row. Okay, that's really all I want to know. I just wanted that one hint, so... Yeah, see you in a bit, guys. <laughs> well, wait, actually, that, that hint means that we have to move uh, uh, horizontally first time and then at least diagonally. Then from here it could be either. So I'm just going to kind of uh, tap around a little bit more, I guess, because <laughs> apparently I still don't have it. But apparently, like the first opening move is the move of four. Now those first two have to be right. So from here on out, I'm not sure what uh, is expected of me. So, uh, tapping around! <laughs> I 
There we go. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck on that for like half an hour before I got the hint. How's this for an answer? And then it just kind of solved itself fairly simply. I did it, Professor! So there we go. I did it, Professor! Do you think she's glad to get some peace and quiet? She's just killed all her kittens. This is actually a very tragic puzzle. Set you off the robots, not the teddies. For God's sake, Bonnie, have one job! You have one job and one job only. What is wrong with you? Damn it, Bonnie, you're fired! He did not hire you to peddle the teddy, he hired you to peddle all the toys. It's not that difficult. God! The things he has to put up with. 